Hi, welcome to Real Talk with um, Lily and Leo. Hi. This is our take two because five minutes ago there was a minor electrical shock and we broke one of the lamps. So we're already off to a Her, great... not me. Yeah, I broke the <laughs> lamp. We're already off to a great segment. So the idea is me and Leo will come here and we will watch trailer and either react to it, tell our thoughts on it, or talk about the movie or the genre as a whole. Just find a way to relate it back to the film industry. So today we are talking about Omni Loop. Are you a big fan of um, time travel type movies, Leo? Yeah, I like travel, uh, time travel movies and just more movies with multiverse and stuff like that. So like beyond just stuff like Endgame, I love Back to the Future. Everything ever all at once is really good. So I haven't seen this trailer. Yeah, I haven't either. So this is going to be 100% a blind watch for us. So we're going to watch it and then we're going to talk a little bit about time loop troubles. Do you want to hear a secret? Sure. I've done this before. <gasps> Tomorrow night, I take a pill and I go back a week. Back. I'm right back to the hospital. <gasps> she has a black hole growing inside of her body. How much longer does she have? I'd say maybe another week. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're watching the game. This has all happened before. <gasps> So, many times before. Your name is Paula Campos. You work in a lab. I'm from the future. I know everything that's gonna happen. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Now the middle finger. Now your cat's gonna meow. And you're gonna ask me, is this really happening right now? And I'm gonna say, yes, it is. I want to make it so I don't only have five days left. So I have my whole life. I think I know somebody who can help us. An anoscopic man. Let's solve time travel. I think, are you going to be OK? They'll be fine. We've tried everything. And still, I can't do it. Do you think there's an alternate timeline where I do go on, where I don't? I have a black hole in my chest. I know there's things I could change. I don't want to risk losing this moment with you. Everything I could have done, all the other versions of me. Have you ever thought about what it's like when you disappear? What about you? What would you want? More days. I think it looks pretty promising. Um, I'm like a sucker for um, time travel movies or time loop movies. I always joke that they're super predictable, but I think that's why a lot of people enjoy those types of movies because you know what's going to happen. Like you always got to have the scene of like person proves time travel's real because right. they're like there's going to be a person that like falls off this curb and then this yeah. person's going to like drop their cup or whatever and then it happens. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I also feel like there's a really big difference whenever like a big studio produces, like, something with time travel yeah. versus, like, indie filmmakers. Because it's like, listen, I love Endgame. I think it's, you know, super cool. I like sitting in my couch, like, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. Like, I remember that movie. Yeah. I remember that movie. But I feel like lots of times they take it at, like, very base level. And even something like Happy Death Day, which is, yeah. like, cheesy fun. It's, like, the most basic, like, what if we turn this into, like, a horror scenario? Yeah. So I always am really excited whenever I see a smaller studio, like, tackle um, time travel type stuff. Or when they even, like, break outside of the time travel, like, they use it more as a means to tell a story. Like, have you ever seen About Time? No, I haven't. Okay, it's really good. It's about this guy that all the men in his family, when they turn 18, they can travel back to any moment, like, in their life. Oh, okay. I think um, you talked to me about this. Mm -hmm. And so it's actually, like, a romance, but with time travel, and, you know, he's, like, trying to get this girl, but then he realizes, you know, it's like, oh, live each day, like, one moment at a time. So it's, it's about time travel, but it's about deeper stuff than that. They just use time stuff as a yeah. means to the end. I feel like whenever it independent studio does it they explore stuff in time travel that we don't even really think about whereas when like a bigger studio does it it's very surface level and they're using the characters in that time period to kind of make it exciting rather than the time travel itself yeah so I mean I will definitely go see this I mean 
I think it looks pretty predictable, but it's okay. I I'm still excited and Could be um, fun. the one girl that's in it that was just in um like Bottoms and Inside Out, um, Iowa Dreeby. I'm probably pronouncing that so bad. Please don't cancel me, internet. But um. <laughs> Like, she's in it, and she's been great in, like, everything that she's been in for, yeah. like, the past year and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because she's also in The Bear right now, and apparently oh, really? that's really good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I think it'll be fun, and I can already tell that, you know, they're going to try to pull on the heartstrings a little bit, yeah. which yeah. I like sappy stuff. So, um, I think it's definitely going to be exciting. So, um how do you feel like this movie can potentially expand on the idea of time loops kind of, you know, going all the way back when Groundhog Day first kind of invented the idea? How do you think they can make something different with it? Something I noticed in the trailer that they kind of referenced but didn't really expand on is she only had five days. Mm -hmm. So instead of just having an infinite amount of loops, she has a limited amount of time to get out of the loop, which I think is going to make the movie a lot more engaging, a lot more... uh, High stakes. Mm-hmm. Um, it almost kind of reminded me of like Majora's Mask from yeah, Zelda, yeah. with like the three days left until like the moon crashes I never or thought whatever. Of that, but that's exactly like um, what it is. And I think the difference between like time loops in video games and movies are very interesting because even because there's lots of games that deal with time loops. Like Majora's Mask is one of the most famous. Yeah. Um, they had Death Loop come out like a couple yeah. years ago. That's yeah. the same sort of idea where you have to like kill these eight assassins on like the same day and if you die or fail like you just are back at the beginning um and there's like this indie game called like 12 minutes or like it's like it's stuck in a single room and you have 12 minutes until this like hitman yeah you have 12 minutes until this hitman shows up and like kills you and your wife and you have to find out like why he's there and like figure out how to um get him to not kill no pressure you and your wife um but I feel like most video games are already kind of in like a time loop scenario because it's yeah. like once you die, you go back to the beginning of the level or the beginning yeah. of that, like the last save point or anything. And so I feel like, you know, whenever they call attention to the fact that it is a time loop thing, mm-hmm. it kind of, you know, ups the stakes a little bit because even yeah. though, you know, it's like, oh, it's going to go back to the same, it kind of, the characters know that they're dying over yeah. and over again. And that's kind of the same existential dread I was kind of getting from the trailer that it's like, oh, I only have five days until a black hole in my stomach swallows me or something. So kind of like what you said, it adds more of that urgency because, I don't know, watching Groundhog Day, I was never stressed because it's like, Mm. yeah, I would Like Happy Death Day, it's like if you get killed, you just fall back in the same scenario and keep going and going and going. Yeah, because it's like, well, at least with Happy Death Day, there's like a creepy like yeah. baby trying to stab you. Like with Groundhog Day, yeah. it's like, yeah, I would suck. I wouldn't want to live like the same yeah. day, even if it was like a good day over and over and over again. But like, there's really no active danger for him. So um, I do think that is an in- interesting route that they're going to take. Kind of combining like what you said about video games and some movies, weirdly enough, it kind of reminds me of the Jumanji like reboot with The Rock because <laughs> they only have a certain amount of lives and then they come back. Oh but my they God, still have the right. dread of dying permanently if they lose all their lives. It's kind of what it reminded me of. I would have never thought of that. But, yeah, so I think it's interesting. Um, again, I do hope that they don't do just the basic time loop thing. I mean, who yeah. am I kidding? I'll still go see it. And it's like time loop is an automatic three stars yeah. for me. So um, I don't rate movies very harshly. Yeah, me so, neither. Um, but I, I have high hopes. And, again, I feel like kind of what we were talking about, bigger studios – take it very base level because we yeah. got to make the masses happy. We can't go too weird. Yeah, do too many risks. Yeah, so I'm hoping that it being a smaller studio but with a, you know, decent enough cast, it can gain the traction that it can grow the legs to do what it wants to do instead of what the industry says it should do. Right. Yeah, I'll definitely see it. Anything original that comes out nowadays, especially from an indie studio, automatically gains my respect, so I'm pretty excited to see Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, we were having a really hard time actually picking what we are going to talk about, because it's like, okay, we have Beetlejuice 2, Sonic 3, comic book movie, comic book movie, reboot movie, um, Wicked, and it's like, okay, we wanted to find something original to talk about. Um, Don't worry, we will definitely still talk about Kraven the Hunter (laughs) and the the Sony-verse eventually. He's going to hunt. The whole, I don't know, I'm trying to come up with something like Morbin time, but I More, can't think of anything. No, it's, I'm, I'm craving that it's, craving. It's, I'm, it's craving time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so we will still definitely talk about the IPs, but I am always really excited when I see something 
kind of weird in a good way, but something original. Something to get excited about. Mm-hmm. So that's all I really have to say this time around. I'm here. I think I'm good. Yeah, so thank you guys for joining. That was Real Talk. I'm Lily. And I'm Leo. See you guys next time. Thank you.